there's, there's still a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, TJ. So we're on a classy joint. <laughs> Tight ship. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud. I really am. I am. It's a little down here tonight. Normally it's a little up here. We're all kind of like, you, know, you guys want to scream for a second, get whatever is in your way out of your system? You want to try this? Just top your lungs on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, good. All right. Well, then. Now, okay, okay, we're good. So, better then, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, because otherwise it's like a freaking morgue in here and we don't want that. And I, I, I get it. I, I had an epiphany just recently that explains exactly what some of you, especially some of you who are sitting there in back, are feeling. I get it. I, over the weekend, I, I, I went and I bought myself a kombucha. I'm an old man. I'm not trying to be all hipster. It helps my tum-tum. You feel good. I get kind of, you know, and burpy. And it's probably too much of an aside for video. It's a good thing we're not filming this on the... Hi, Internet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to... Yeah, thanks. So I, bought, I, I went to buy a kombucha because it makes my tummy feel good. And the incredibly helpful Marie Martin was actually with me for reasons that'll make more sense in a minute. But she was with me and she's one of the most helpful people. She jumped right in to, to read the rules for us tonight. Thank you for that. And in the, in the midst of, of, this, uh, of this me purchasing tea, she says, can I open that for you? I looked at her and I admit this may have been a low blood sugar speaking, but I looked at her and I'm a grown ass man. I can open my probiotic tea without help. Thank you very much. A little screw top. I got this cup. And I stopped and I said, you know, that may be the second stupidest thing I've said all day. She laughed because she actually knew what the stupidest thing I said all day was. The guy behind the counter, however, did not. And he leans forward, not knowing me at all. And he doesn't know this me at all. And he says, well, what is the stupidest thing you've said all day. To be fair, I gave him an out. I said, are you sure you want to know? He says, totally. <laughs> I look at the length of the line. It's not that bad. I figure, what the hell? <laughs> and I explain, in, I'm, I'm going to have to go over here in order to get through the whole thing. I explain that, uh, well, I'm a performer in a circus called the Circus Freaks, and we have an act within that which involves me and another guy named Alan who isn't here right now, who are in fact ju jugglers, and we throw deadly objects at each other, and we were together working with Marie on this thing called the Bucket of Death. Say, ooh. That's right, the Bucket of Death, wherein we stand face to face and throw lethally sharp objects. And so we were working on lethally sharp objects in a way that we could possibly make that, well, funnier, because frankly, many of the kids we do it in front of get scared. So then we were talking about the possibility of even removing one of the deadly sharp objects and adding something else to it. Perhaps we could add something like, oh, I don't know, a goat head on a stick. Or perhaps we could add, I don't know, maybe a petrified skunk, or I don't know, perhaps a banana. <laughs> well, the banana sounded like a really good idea. I'm not going to tell you whether or not we tested this. <laughs> but I will tell you this. You see, when you add a banana to a bunch of juggling stuff going on, and some of those things are razor sharp, there is what we call the samurai instinct. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, it would be cinematically awesome to tell you that at that moment, the banana did get cleft in twain, as they would say in biblical times. It would be awesome. But the truth is, the banana does not have as much mass as, say, one of these poles or, or Johnny. And so, hi, Johnny. And so, when contacting even the sharpest of blades, there's a tendency for it to go flying as far away from the sharp objects as possible. Wherein I looked at Alan and Marie and I said, you know, this may be the one place where the banana is in fact smarter than the two of us. <laughs> and that was the stupidest thing I'd said all day. 
the, I look up at the guy having finished, thank you, I, I look up at the guy having finished this little diatribe, and I, and I realize the look on his face is not the one you guys have. You guys know me, and those of you who don't are figuring it out pretty quickly. I'm in context right now. I make sense right now. Imagine it takes all this for that to happen. I'm standing in a grocery store buying a tea at the time all this is going down. You get the, okay. And he's got this look like, you're serious. <laughs> and I say, yeah. And he goes, no, 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 I don't disbelieve you. That's the thing. You're serious. <laughs> and right there I had my epiphany that I had broken a fundamental promise to myself. You see, a long time ago, I made this deal with myself when we started doing the show, when we started running the circus, when we started doing all of this stuff. I said, I was not going to become blasé to the awesome. I live in a world, let me, let me be perfectly honest, I live in a world where it is not uncommon in one day to see people throwing razor-sharp objects, stand on their head, dangle from the ceiling, or dance nine feet in the air. That's just an average day in my life. Hell yeah, it is. Thank you. And here, every week, we see things that are amazing. And somewhere along the way, I get caught up in the detail. I'm a details guy. I'm a big picture guy who gets dragged into details and I'm OCD and I just obsess is the truth. But I like to think of myself as a guy who can put together a good joke. The reality is I get lost in this notion of that this, oh, these are problems I need to solve. These are things I need to do. And so I get to forget how wondrous they might be. Well, standing right here, center stage, in front of you, in front of the internet, in front of all of you guys tonight, I want to make a promise. I encourage you, and in fact, I implore you to make it with me. I'm going to move from this moment forward every day, trying to see the wonder in the things going on in my life. This weird little world we have constructed, and I mean literally, we bolted this thing together with our bare hands, is amazing. And I never want for a minute to forget that. Come with me on that. Because the truth is, as much as I'm like, I'm in charge and how you doing, I have no idea. I wonder what's going to happen tonight. And I hope you'll find out with me right here at the open stage. Welcome.